Hello, this is the tutorial how to do a boolean inside of uh, Maya. This is a problem that I had with the scene layout that I had here and I needed to create a manhole cover um, or a manhole open and I tried to start pulling polygons in and as you can see it's not quite round so it just really didn't look correct so I kinda almost wanted to give up on this format because it didn't really work that well so what I did find out was create uh, polygon primitives create a cylinder and I'm going to go ahead and size that cylinder up to about the size that I want here. So let's scale it. Scale it down again here. Let's scale it up. Let's get a little bigger. Let's keep scaling it. All right. I'm getting about where I want that size of this manhole cover to be. So I'm going to go, let me pull it out about right here. Looks good. I want to make sure that it fits on my animation and it doesn't jump outside of it. So let's kind of scroll through it here just a little bit make sure everything's good. Yeah, it looks like his feet land right on it. That's in a good spot. So what I need to do is I actually needed to cut a hole through the surface. And I had thought about, you know, deleting a face and doing it. But I thought, you know what, that probably isn't the best way to do this. So let me modify the segments here. I don't need so many segments going up. But I'm going to only pick about maybe three, which will reduce it. And I want a little more segments going around to give it a more rounder shape. Let's try 15. That looks like that works pretty good. You know, it's fairly round. It's not too bad. That would be, you know, suffice for government work, as they say. All right. So now since that's done, let me go ahead. And now I want to use a function called Boolean functions. Now there's Boolean functions for nerves and Boolean functions for polygons, what I found out, which is kind of the way that you would do this in 3D Studio Max. So um, John Cooley in my class um, actually suggested, you know, if I was familiar with Max, well, hey, why don't you use 3D Studio Max? To make your models and bring them in, I thought, well, you know, what did I do this in? I did it, I did boolean functions inside 3D Studio Max to make a lot of complicated objects. So I thought, mm hmm, how about I'll just try that here? And I was surprised it did work pretty well. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that right now. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select the ground and then the object. And then I'm going to go to polygons and I'm going to select booleans. And I want to do the difference. I want to select the difference of this. And now if you notice what happened here is it actually made the hole I wanted down in here. But one other thing, so I just wanted to check to make sure that worked and it did. But here's what I have. I don't have a manhole cover that will actually fit that. So now I need to make sure I'm, that I have the actual insert for it. Because later on in this animation I need to move that cover off. So let me undo that. And now what I want to do is I want to do Control D. And I want to copy this. Whoop, whoop, I don't want to copy everything. I want to just copy the manhole cover. This, There it is. Control D. And let's move this one out of the way. That way I have an exact copy of the manhole cover so I can fit it right back down on there for a later animation. Okay. Let's go ahead and select the, the plane again and then select the object. Go to polygons, booleans, and then select the difference. Ah, now we have a perfect hole in the ground something now I can extrude and put the hole down there where I can actually now oh it looks like it's select the other one. Oh gosh darn it let me go back here and let me undo that then for some reason this object was the same one I must have had it selected so let me get this one out of the way alright and let's go ahead and select this plane again select the plane first select the plane and then the object I wanted to boolean polygons and then booleans and then select the difference Alright, let me make sure I have, oh wow, I guess my other object is connected to it, so I'm going to have to delete the history on that object first. So let's go through, since this is on here, let's delete the history on that, so let's go to edit, delete by type, and then history, and I want to select the other one, let's see, edit, delete by type, and history on that one. So they shouldn't be connected anymore now, okay? So now I'm going to go ahead and select the plane object, and I'm going to go ahead and go to polygons, boolean, and difference. Ugh. Now, doesn't that beat all that the two objects are connected together? I cannot believe that. So I'm going to do this manually. I'm going to select the object, go to edit, and I want to copy it. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the object. So copy, and then I'm going to paste it. Now hopefully that means that they're not connected. Okay, let's give it a shot now. Alright, and let's go to polygons, 
booleans and difference. Ah, now we still have the object over here. And now I have the hole down in here that I need for the manhole cover. Because in a later scene here, what I'm going to actually do is this is going to be an object where I need to have a hole down there. I'm going to have people down there looking up with their eyeballs. So what I need to do here is I'm going to go ahead and put this into wireframe mode. And I'm going to change this to faces. And I want to take this one object here. And I want to extrude it. I want to pull it down in there. It looks like I've got a lot of history going on in here. So, so I'm going to actually go ahead and go back here and go back to object mode itself. And I'm going to delete the history on it as well just to make sure that I don't have any other problems with it. All right. So let's go back to faces mode. And I'm going to select this object. Yes, we have a clean slate here now. So now what I want to do is I want to extrude a polygon. So I'm going to go ahead and go to edit polygons and I'm going to extrude a face. Okay, I'm going to select this object to make sure it's uniform and what I want to do here is I want to come down a little bit with it and then I want to scale it a little bit. So let's uh, try this out here. There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and go to edit polygons, extrude face and let's come, whoops, let's come down here again and let's go ahead and scale this one out a little bit more because we need to have a nice big open hole down here so we can get enough people down in there with some blinking eyeballs. Okay, let's come down here. Look, it's looking good so far. Let's go ahead, go to edit polygons, extrude face, and let's pull that one down a little bit more. And let's go ahead and hit the scale button here and let's just scale it out just a bit wee bit more here again i think we're just about getting where we need now if i need to later on i can come back and modify this which isn't a problem um might have to modify the outer edge of this in some cases you know if the camera doesn't fit down there too well so let me go ahead and extrude this face one more time and let's extrude it down so now i should have reasonably amount of room down here store character in so I should be good to go on that let's take a look at it in uh, full mode here looks like I have a nice hole down there now now I have like a little inner side cavity here which is good so now I can actually see inside of that doing good here we have the manhole cover down there so now we can store our victims down there of the 86 all right everyone um, thank you very much for joining us for this tutorial and I hope you'll join us again thank you very much bye bye